We've got a plan to talk about Charlotte, obviously, because Charlotte, of Charlotte's web fame, um, she passed away this week, and it went all around the airwaves hundreds of times. But um, why was I about to say that? Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> the, there's, conflict, there's conflicting news about how it happened, or why she died, or was it a seizure, or was it pneumonia, or was it COVID, or what was it? So every single thing that you see has got this twinge of doubt about it. There she is. The lady that inspired the CBD movement has died at the age of 13. And um, her parents and the people closest to her who have all locked themselves down, they've not given interviews, they're having a very private time about it. Yeah. They, um, they say in their release that um, she just didn't make it. She had a, she had a cold and she didn't make the, the next seizure. So who can tell? Um, a lot of people, um, yeah, it says there she tested negative for the virus, but lots and lots of headlines are the fact that she went down to COVID. I don't know if any of you guys have seen anything positive about it, about the incident, but it's, um, it's quite a thing. It's seen, do you know that was like five years ago now? It has. It's, it's been a while. We've, she's been in, in a, a part of the community for many years already. No, not just the CBD movement. Uh, that's opened up everyone else to cannabis completely. You know? Exactly, because CBD is the gateway to THC. <laughs> I guess there's one way to look at it. Um, yeah. While Charlotte's COVID-19 test results were negative, she may have been tested too late for a positive result. Whatever. Um, I'm seeing reports all over the place of everybody dying of COVID. If you go in there, do you see the meme of the skydiver without the parachute dying of COVID-19? <laughs> it's fucked up like that. Everybody's dying of one thing now. Whether you go into hospital with gout or what, you end up fucking as a statistic. Yeah, you're like, damn, that guy survived. Whatever, but he, Corona took him. Shit. Shit. No, I don't know if I would, no. But soon well, you're the world has lost a little angel. It's very, very sad. Um, yeah. Obviously, our thoughts and, and um, well, prayers, not really the right group, but our thoughts and, and good energy are definitely going to the family and, and loved ones of her. You yeah. know, I, I suppose they've been, living with the, uh, they've been living with the thought of it all their lives. I mean, she's got this far. Mm. Um, I've got a very close friend whose son was going to die all his life. He was going to die young, and he, he was going to die when he was a teenager. And he got to late 20s and it was every single day was another blessing, you know. And um, she's got quite a legacy, Charlotte. She really has got one hell of a legacy. It's changed absolutely everything about weed. Remember that? Remember Sanjay Gupta doing his thing for CNN? That's quite incredible. Sanjay Gupta is one of the, the angels who helped convert my mom from the prohibitionist uh, side to the pro-weed side. Indeed. Grateful to him. Well, and it ain't. Though, though people were converted for by his words, by his official opinion on CNN. If it came from CNN, a lot of people would believe it, weren't they? It was also very powerful, that Sanjay Gupta thing. It's the sort of thing you can go watch if you want to have a good chunk. But something that I've always not had a bone with about the whole Charlotte thing is a significant um, medical candidate. <coughs> medical matters and all that, but I've always thought, was it or is it ethical to use children to market cannabis, no matter what ma cannabis it is? You know, I've always wondered, maybe that's a bit of an un uncomfortable thing. It's not to market. I think the point of them doing that was to try and prove its safety yeah. for children and elderly. I don't know. I hear exactly what you're saying. I don't know if they market if it became an on-purpose marketing thing or if it just was that it happened to be that this plant was grown specifically for this young lady. Didn't she have a very well, special? But that's like it's really. A, I feel like it's like it's not like it was something 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 that worked for Charlotte. The strain was literally named after her. That's like yeah. saying um, that's like naming Tick after Corsi Johnson. Or something like that. <laughs> Years, much like a PR thing as well, her story, which is good, but 
maybe there's other stories to be told as well now. I think it was the Stanley brothers that took the ride, that got the best ride out of it, with their strain, more than the family. I don't know. Yeah. Open to correction. Well, do you know what? I, I remember... <laughs> Myrtle and I did a cannabis conference in Vienna a couple of years ago and we met um, somebody from Charlotte's Web, the actual company, and I thought for the whole day I was talking to one of the brothers stroke cousins, but actually I was talking to a completely arbitrary accountant because it was a publicly limited company by that point. It wasn't a family business in any form, it was a fucking mega corporation, which is probably laying off workers as we speak. Did you see Medigrow uh, lost 70, they, they act 76 jobs this week. Medigrow Lesotho. Everybody's oh. fucking gone. Yeah. Just like that. Easy come, easy go. And I don't suppose for one minute they have any recourse. Bummer. Yeah. Uh, I doubt it. I, I was talking the labor laws in Lesotho. Terrible. I wonder if the head grow is still there or they got they also get canned. Well we'll find we'll, we'll find that out. They canned all the locals and kept all the internationals. Yeah. Um it, you raise an interesting question about the child bit there, Buzz. I never really thought about it with Charlotte's Web because it seems so natural that a, a child with a really weird form of epilepsy, it's not just epilepsy, it's a whole it's a it's a whole different strain of it that it it worked out for a kid. It, everybody jumped on it because it was a child and it, and it made it so benign because what about the children, etc. So now, you know, Nigel Collin, Connell's on the thread there saying they've patented Charlotte's Web. But hey, how the hell do you patent a terpene profile? It's the weirdest thing. Don't know. Very interesting. What about the children? And now she's the poster girl for seizures. How many other kids have been able to get help because of that. Yeah, yeah. one to represent. Well, thousands, hundreds of thousands, probably. <laughs>